one to lead our people. They need a strong and compassionate leader. The young ones lost so many parents and will turn to you now for guidance. Embrace them as your own and soon you will gain the trust of the people. Teach them our ways, the ways of kindness, the ways of the spirit, the way of strength. What? What? Who's there? Show yourself. Speak if you were there. Must have been a dream. Not to Ani. You must go to the Mount of Remembrance. Only there will you find what you seek. Go and find the Black Wolf. He will be strong and will try to fight you. Stand your ground and do not be aggressive. Don't let him pin you down, but do not fight. You must not attack, only defend. Keep your eyes low and anticipate his next move. Be mindful of his strength or he will overpower you. Be quick, but submissive. When he sees you are not a threat, he will bow his head. Only then, hold out your hand and look away. Reach out to him. And when he accepts you, he will place his head in your hand. At this exact moment, look into his eyes, see into his soul, and you will become one in spirit. You will become the Black Wolf. Show yourself now. Come into the light. Make yourself known to me. White Bird. Are you here, now? Is that you? Not to Ani. I am with you now. But how? You... You are gone. I am one with everything now. My spirit is within you, all around you. The Black Wolf? Was that you speaking to me in my dream? Yes, not to Ani. You must find him. He is springborn like you. His spirit and yours will intertwine. He will rejuvenate your heart. But why a wolf? What, what if he... What if I can't do it? Well, what if he kills me? I can't. I won't make it. Why do you ask this of me? It's too much. White Bird, are you there? White Bird, speak to me. I need to show the others I can keep them safe. I need to show them. Not honey. Go now and find 
the black wolf. He will show you the way. Become the wolf, Natani. You will see. They will see. Hello Hooligans, welcome home. We are here on the world of Edry once again. Just me, just you guys. No collaboration this time. I am super excited about that last episode though. Thank you so much to Tim for coming in and doing that with me. And firstly, or secondly, or yeah, I guess secondly would be right, uh, thank you to Conniption Fit and Chian for another amazing Evergreen episode. So we, uh, we are getting a little bit more out of that story, and I'm really, really excited about that. I love what Conniption's doing. Uh, he did write that as well. So all of the Evergreen episodes he is writing, and I'm really, really enjoying what, like, is happening. It's really exciting to like get somebody's story and then go in and like try to do something with it and make it as kind of their vision like mixed with mine it's it's really kind of fun i'm really enjoying doing it but we are here in sanctuary because there's a lot going on in evergreen and i'm gonna show you guys that but i didn't want to just pop up and do it uh this may take a second to load there we go. There's a little bit of a little bit of a lag going on here. So, firstly, we're going to talk about the uh, the giant elephant in the room, and that will be right over there. <laughs> so, this is going to be framey. I apologize, but uh, we are putting in some colossal trees in here. Uh, very Weeping Willow style. These are not detailed in any way right now. Uh, they all kind of started out like this one here and that one down there. And I think we're going to do about three or four more of these as well. Uh, this is something that I started earlier in the evening. I am using a lot of World Edit. I'm trying to make World Edit trees look good. And that is difficult to do, uh, but I am managing to kind of take away, like if you notice like right here, like this is what I've been really concentrating on, trying to take away that world edit feel. There is a, you can definitely tell with like um, looking here, like these are just kind of the layout of what I wanted to do. But they look very world edited. Like you can see, you know, the spheres that I've used to actually do it. But like if we come over here into this section, I am working a bit on making them not world edit looking. And you can actually do this. It's possible. Um, I do know a number of people who like really despise doing trees like this because they look too world edity world edity i guess i don't know that's not a real word uh but there is a way to do them and there's a way to do them well and it's it can be kind of a just peaceful experience um one of the big problems you're going to run into though is there is a part of this that uh requires you to get air as your piece and there is a myth that you can not put down uh, leaves, like non-decayable leaves. Uh, that has been, like, done over in World Edit, I believe, for a little while now. Um, what that is, is if you put down just the normal leaves, I think it's like, uh, I don't remember the word, or the number, the ID number, but I have been using this right here. So this is 1851. Um, so, or not, can't bind that to, the, no, you stupid dang. Uh, I need to go to my shovel like a dummy. So there we go. So what these will do is these will actually put down non, uh, non-dying 
like branch or leaves I guess uh, I tested it out over here because I kind of wanted to get a little bit more of an idea of like if that was possible so there's no wood in this but what these are is for those of you who are good enough to you know understand all this junk and what I'm looking at uh, these are non decayable leaves now there is another way to do this which is to basically if you have something like world guard you can go in and you can actually make an area non-decayable and uh that's not something i really wanted to do because it could just lead to a bunch of pain in the butt problems um but this works out really nice and what i've done to kind of kind of de-world edit it is going into my world edit going into brush okay let's see brush sphere air one okay and that's just air one it's super super easy to do but what i've been doing and this might get a little framey it's a little framey to actually do when i'm not even recording but what i've done is you just kind of come through and eat away a little bit at this and it starts to get a little bit more organic and a little bit less world edit it takes out some of those like some of those spheres that people just despise when you're going in. Um, now, what you can do if you want to is, like, before... Like, with these, I'm bringing these big willow pieces down. And we're going to do a lot more detailing on those, too. Um, but you could even come in before you actually start putting those in and just give it a little bit of a beat up look like that and if you find that you've done a little too much like i kind of feel like i've done a little bit much there um i can come in here and you can basically just kind of reshuffle putting them in um i don't want to do a ton of this because this gets really framey to do it's not so bad down here i don't know how it's going to be with like five you know five of these giant trees but I still get a decent, like, let's see, I'm on, I'm on my, like, really nice shaders right now. So I'm getting about a 27 to 30, um, which isn't bad. It's playable. It's not a big deal. And I enjoy that. And I'm also running my recording software. So, like, when I'm just normally playing on here, I'm going to get probably 50, uh, 50 to 60 in with my extreme shaders on. But... It's been fun. It's been kind of cool. Like I said, there's some little problems where, like, you, you know, you have things like this. If you use air and there it's not connected with these non-decayables, they will basically stay there. And what I plan to do with this is, like, these... You see I've brought down, like, these willows. So what I can do with these is I can actually just kind of come in here and just do a little bit more of a point... And that's going to end up looking pretty decent if I can do it right. Let me see. Let me see what we can do here. So something a little bit more like that. Yeah, and that's going to look a little bit um, better. You know, building in a larger scale is not easy. But you can definitely get a good feel if you move away. Like, that looked terrible up close, but from back here, it doesn't look that bad. It looks nice. It looks like it's supposed to from far away. These are not trees you guys are supposed to be able to, like, climb up on and things like that. They are supposed to provide a coverage to the kingdom of Evergreen. So what's going to happen is, like, even Conniption has, like, right here, he wants the path to continue. And what we'll end up doing is we will end up taking out all of these trees in the undergrowth. Um, we will do, I wanted to do a lot more custom tree work in home in general. And so this gives us a really good excuse to hear, um, especially in, you know, in the kingdom of trees, essentially. So we come in here, we'll take out all of these trees that are in the undergrowth, and then we will be able to build all of our kingdom down here. And it's going to be really, really cool. And uh, Conniption is working on some stuff out here, too. He has come through... We've got the path finally leading up to the bridge, which will eventually come way up here, which, by the way, he detailed the rest of this bridge, and I'm really, really loving it. Um, it's going to come up here to a new section, and this is actually going to be like kind of a seat of power for the uh, for him, uh, for Nataani in the story. And so this is going to be a really amazing, like, eagle statue, I'm told. 
So I'm really, really excited about that. And then we've also been talking, and like I said, sorry, it's going to be a little framey. Um, we've been talking in uh, the Builders Group about doing some really big facade um like facade animals on the side of this mountain so like covering this mountain we want like you know they're like right here could be like a big owl head and then maybe like up here could be like a big wolf head and you know just things like that like we want to kind of incorporate a little bit of like some of the people that are involved in home have animals as kind of their thing so like i have grumpy owl gaming so like i would like to have the owl be one of those statues um and then we have uh we have some other people like uh foxy we want to do a fox and then we want to do the black wolf from conniption's uh story we want to do white bird um like a big bird face for uh white bird the character that Chian plays and just kind of make it a little bit fun a little bit of easter egg stuff going on but it's going really really good i'm really excited about the way things are going uh willow actually willow lily our newest uh member he came in and actually did this little house right here which i really really like uh he's done a very good job of taking like the original style so this was the first house that ever got built in evergreen i just kind of threw it down to give a little bit of a build style so it's nothing fancy and it's just this nice little house out here and i just really really liked putting a lot of curve into it i came in later and built this and this is actually one of my favorite things because like i like the it's almost got like a mud roof to it which is kind of cool and so we ended up doing that, lots of greenery, lots of curves. And then Fixit came in and built this huge, wonderful place, which is just, I absolutely love because it's small, but it's like this maze of like other little spaces. And I really, really, really like that. And uh, even he has said though, it's not, there's like nothing inside. <laughs> uh, so we'll have to go in and eventually do that. But Willow really captured that really well here. Um, and then let's see yeah no interior as of yet but that's okay a lot of these places have no interior as of yet uh the curvature on this one is really really good too uh i think fix called these the uh the mumbo mustaches so they're cool i like them it it adds a little bit of a like a curvature level to the builds that i really really want to emphasize in evergreen so we are going to be doing some like larger stone buildings here as well uh there are going to be other important buildings that get built so these right now are just kind of like houses that are going in but i would really like to get like some shops uh blacksmiths like all that stuff like all the normal things that you would get and this is a really good representation of what we would like to do with that like these big curves i love this roof this roof is probably one of my favorite things in the world right here uh with these little drop downs i think that's super super cool and i love the tops and then i know we also want to do like some totem type things which i think is kind of the idea of the actual like lanterns that we have going here the lamps that we have going i think is a little bit more of a a little bit more of a totem and i'm really enjoying this little life spot uh this is something that conniption put in and this is just kind of a sitting and eating area um i really like this because it brings like the community together so like they'll get like a big thing to eat at the end of the night and people will come here and they'll wait for the food to be cooked and i love that he's got like all the little blood splatters underneath the stuff over here but yeah they're just waiting for food to be cooked and they can sit and tell stories and songs and all those things and it's just it's going to be really really cool with this all being like covered and everything too i'm really really excited about that um i wanted to I want to bring in maybe another tree somewhere around here, but you got to remember, like, Evergreen's going to spread out, too. I know we want to utilize a lot of this area over here, and, like, especially, like, doing stuff up on the mountain. It's going to be really cool. I'm really, really excited about it. And there's been a lot of excitement in the uh, in the community recently. Oh, uh, Conniption also redid the pathwork, which I really love because he said there was going to be a bunch of stuff covering everything over there. So it's going to be a little bit more earthy path than the original uh, stuff that we had in. Uh, but yeah, the community, you guys have been just 
blowing my mind recently with all of the support. Uh, people have been getting onto the server a lot more with the builds, like really crazy builds are happening. Um, let's see, we've had Foxy, Dom, and I want to say, uh, I don't remember if Vidgar or Vidargarvia did a live stream, but there have been live streams that have been happening on the server, and then there have also been uh, builders who are doing new episodes. So Avalar actually put out his first episode today for me. Uh, today is Wednesday. So he actually put out his first episode, and he kind of toured around the different kingdoms. It was a really, really pleasant little episode, and uh, showed off some stuff that he had done in the beginning of the episode. And it was just really pleasant that he's going to start up a series on this. Uh, I just got done talking to Brownie Bits a little while ago. And he's kind of like scheduling content and things like that. And he may try to actually work something in here as well. Uh, I hope so. Brownie Bits is one of my favorite people. He's just a good person. And uh, I really enjoy having him around. He does a lot for the community. And he is incredibly unappreciated uh, as a content creator and a builder. He is incredibly good and he deserves all of the subs in the world. And uh, yeah, so he's going to be popping up around here. And if you guys don't know him, he is absolutely fantastic. Look up Brownie Bits uh, Gaming and he's just super good. And I'm hoping to get him on. We have one more person applying for building. Uh, on the server, and I'm really excited. He's actually been taking a lot of time um, to do his builds, and it's not like he's just, you know, like just not doing them. Uh, he's really, really concentrating on trying to get builds that he wants to show the build crew to see if they're going to do well on. And uh, so there's lots of good stuff going on. Everybody's doing live streams and episodes, and things are picking up like picking up pace a lot. There's a lot of really crazy builds that are happening very quickly. Uh, this is creative, so people don't have to so much, you know, go gather resources and things like that. They can just get on here and build, and world edit helps out. Um, it's just been really, really, really pleasant. Uh, by the way, also, if you missed your chance to get the home lineup shirt, it is now gone. Uh, just to let you guys know. Um, we held out the sale for another week because people were wanting to just grab it, and we had a couple people grab it within that week, um, but they are gone now, and they will be returning sometime later, um, especially with it being a lineup shirt and everybody on it, either, you know, some people are going to like just not be involved like there's other people who have now become involved and I want to put them on there and uh, so the shuffle of members and things like that and that just happens through time so it's going to be really nice on the next one to be able to do something like that and uh, I'm planning on getting Arcanus up sometime this week by the way I've just been I've been having a little bit of issue with uh, with my like not graphic so much, but with uh, Teespring, or T Public Teespring, yeah, I think I'm using Teespring, um, and, uh, yeah, I've been having a little bit of issue where, like, I'll put it all in, and then it'll be like, nah, nah, we're cool, we're just gonna chill for now, and it just doesn't go through, and it's been a big pain in the butt, but anyway, um, so guys, I think that's about gonna do it for the episode Please, guys, remember to go down, check out everybody in the description. Go click on the little thing down below the video. It says See More. Click on it. There's a whole list of my co-writer's Twitter handles. There is a list of all of the builders' YouTubes. Um, check them out. Get involved with them as well because home is not mine. It is a community project now. I literally, at this point, would drive myself insane trying to do this on my own. Um, it has become that much of a kind of like everybody just being involved and relying on each other thing. So I am really, really excited at the way things are going. Um, we also have some special stories from home coming up. Uh, we have our we have our first couple home patrons. I'm really excited about that. That is really, really cool. Um, we have a. We have one Stories from Home already coming up. It is getting a special build done in the Kingdom of Valenthian, and uh, that is for Miss Hesiana, who is our first home patron. Uh, we also have another one that will be coming out later for another home patron, and uh, I'm just 
super thrilled. Like, we have patrons, and that's so great. Uh, the patron, you gotta remember, the patron money that we get is actually split up amongst the crew of the entire thing. Um, so I don't keep that for myself. I get a portion of it, but I get an equal portion of it to the uh, builders and the crew and people like that. Same goes with the merchandise. I... I don't keep all of the merchandise money. The merchandise money gets split up between myself and the co-writers, which a lot of them have actually said they would just rather have their money that they make from that sent to uh, different charities. So they're just really, really cool people. So go check out the Patreon. There's lots of really cool rewards. And uh, go check out the merchandise and represent your favorite kingdoms. And guys... Uh, next week i'm hoping to get you rivet i know i keep saying that but it's been uh it's been one of those ones that's just been a little bit rough to get going um but it will be worth it i promise you it is so cool and i'm super excited about the logo for that place actually um the logo is so cool so uh but yeah just uh give it a little bit of time i promise it'll be worth it it's my wife's writing and she is fantastic and i can't wait to show you guys that all right and so, yeah, that's it. I think we're going to go. And uh, please remember to click on everything down below. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode of Home. All right? I'll see you later. Bye-bye.